right route again today. We're out on the pasture with Mark on his permission. So that's pretty awesome. We've been here a little while. We haven't found too much so far yet. Um, but it's pasture, so everything's deep. Um, I'm using CTX today, just to give it a go and, well, get some cobwebs off it really, because I haven't had that out probably since the tech all last year. Um, yeah, so we're going to see how that goes. Um, bit of a different setup for me. I've been so much used to using locks of reason. I've kind of forgotten how to use it really. Anyway, we're, we're going to crack on with that and see how we get on. And uh, no, we've got a patch on today. One of them got from uh, was that September, September one. Yes, that's pretty awesome. Okay, well, right, we'll crack on and we'll see you on the next hole. There we go, using the CTX today. Actually, it's not been out in a while, still yet. <laughs> but it's been that long, I've forgotten how to use it pretty much. Just had a little find down here. Um, this field is fairly quiet, so I'll just put it up here so I can show you together. Well, there we go. So we've got a little key. No age to it, of course. The key. Keys are keys are key, isn't it? I guess someone sat down on this conveniently placed tree that's laying down on its side. And um, yeah, the key probably got out of pocket after this guy. Hand around a little bit. Nice bit of water there. It's a little bit windy today, but it's not raining. So I haven't even got my water boots on today. Yeah, it's a bit of water there. That's where it was last week in that field. I don't know if you can hear that woodpecker, there's a woodpecker up over there. Mark's up over there, look. I'm not finding too much at the moment, but uh, Mark's seeing plenty of holes, so he's enjoying himself. Um, I'm not doing so well, really. I don't know whether it's because I haven't used CTX in a while, or, or the field's just a bit quiet, that's why I'm really not getting so many signals. I think it probably feels a bit quiet in this one, but we we carry on. I'm sure there's some stuff here. All right, guys, the wind's got up a bit now, so I can only apologise for that if you can hear it. Well, I've just got a little signal here, and a clue what it's going to be. Um, so let's find out the garage, shall we? I remember using the knocker with um, sure dive because I couldn't find the pinpointer. My wife washed my finds bag and uh, my pinpointer was attached to it and she put it somewhere. And... Ooh, geez, how long is it? And ooh, oh, it's going to be a coin. Green. Hmm, I'm surprised. I didn't think it was going to be a coin, to be honest. That's a bit toasted, but you know, hey ho. Coin's a coin. I'll take that any day. Uh, it's probably penny, half penny. I don't want to clean it up too much. We'll do it later on when we get home, let it dry out a bit and just give it a little brush off. Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So, yeah, there you go, CTX. She's still, she's still got it, ain't you, baby? All right, let's carry on in, eh? Mark's over there. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit for Mark. There he is. But, yeah, this field's been a little bit quiet, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, that's the first one. It's a bit windy. I might even put my waterproof coat on, keep the wind out. All right, let's crack on and uh, see you on the next one. All right, let's come in the woods a little bit. Just have a little shifty round. Well, I say the woods, the wood line, should I say. There's a field just there, look. All right, spin around. I've just dug one hole here. And we're going to investigate that. I've already seen the spot in it. There we go. Sorry about the wind again, guys. But, uh, like a coin, didn't it? It's quite small, though, small in diameter. Nice patina, fairly thin. Where we 
to do before we get Mark to have a look at that because she's got better eyesight than me. And he don't even wear glasses. There's a, there's a head there. I don't see a bus. So we'll go and see Mark. He's digging a hole now anyway. He's just there, look. Let's go and have a look see where he's digging up. And once he's found his target, he can get a look at mine. Still in there, is it, mate? Oh, that's a bit of a nasty one to dig, isn't it? Yeah, right under a right. tree, yeah. It was a good signal, was it? Oh, well, it's a good signal, isn't it? 21. It's jumping around a little bit there. This is quite a way down, Well, this could be interesting to watch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Tree roots. So you've got the evolution spade <laughs> and they're um, well known for going through roots. Cool, you can hear them going cronk cronk. It's not hedge fodder, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you found a good spot to dig, you know, on a bank, under a tree. <laughs> God. I'll tell you what, we'll come back to you once Mark's got that out. Right, well, Mark's giving up on his one. It's um, a bit of wire and it goes it's long and it goes down, down, down. So he left that one. He's going to have a quick nosy at my coin that I just picked up for me. It's a different size, isn't it? Oh, yeah. He's got much better eyesight than what I have. What do you reckon that's going to be then? I'm thinking maybe a farthing. Because in the size, it's quite small, isn't it? Mm, very small. I thought I could see a bust on there as well. Yeah, I think that's the side I think I can see the head on. It's a nice patina to it, nice green, isn't it? Some writing on there, um, let's see the dates. Omni Rex. Rex, I think it's king or something, isn't it? X. One, one. 1 1 X 1 1 1. Yeah, uh, yeah pass. I don't know. Why do they carry that on? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Right, okay, so we're not going to get a day over no. today. Nope. But I reckon, hmm, Farvin might even be a George. Just Maybe. Constant. There is a head there. Yeah, Which one's going to face left or right? Oh, it's hard to tell, isn't it? Uh, oh, I can see what that is. It's George V. See his little chin and beard. All right. Okay, <laughs> on to the next one. Hey guys, right, just had a little bit of lunch. Um, we'll get better start going detecting again. Mark don't hang about. He's, he's already out there. He's swinging away again. Yeah, it was... Um, Rain's kept off, it's been pretty cool, really. All right, we'll uh, crack on and we'll see you on the next hour, eh? All right, guys, sorry about the wind again. I just want to show you what, how this shows up on the um, CTX. Just see that red dot there? And that's come up as 12.21. So uh, we'll dig that and see what it's like, eh? I'll get back to you in a sec. All right, guys, we've got it out. There's our, uh, I'll find, and there she is, a 20p coin, woohoo, well it's modern, it's not really woohoo is it, it's not a woohoo moment, but that's what she comes up as, that's uh, 1221.
I think that was 2021. Yeah, so it's been there a little while. Just a 20p coin. Nothing great, I'm afraid. But uh, yeah, she's still working. But to be honest with you, it's taken me a while to get used to using CTX again. Um, not use it for such a long time. But because we're on Mark's permission, it's all pasture. Um, well, mostly pasture. Talk with the devil, where is he? He's oh, right the way down there, at the end of my fingertip. And he's uh, obviously found something, he's digging it. Right, let's carry on and see what else we can get out of the ground, eh? Right, see you in a bit. Right, guys, this next find, it's nothing spectacular, I'm afraid. There's a bullet casing. Uh, it's like a 303. Yeah. That'd be a 303 case. Yeah. Okie okay, dokie, okay, let's carry on. See what else we can find. All right, guys, just dug that one out there. Where's that come up? We are in handle or a stamp or something or other? Something that looks like it's broken off there. Yeah, Mark's coming out. He's going to come have a look. Come on, look at this, Mark. See what do you think of this? <laughs> what is that? What do you think? Well, no idea. <laughs> yeah, same as, but... Way too, isn't it? Yeah. Don't come as a... Wouldn't really matter, you wouldn't say it anyway, it's on CTX. Uh, yeah, coming 1227 for CTX users. Oh. What do you think, mate? Like a stamp and something on the end is broken off? Matrix seal, maybe? That's... Oh, yeah. Something unusual, isn't it? Yeah. Or, well, anyone else knows that? Any answers blow to identify that? Because uh, I haven't really got a clue what it is. Straight out Just of being making, a, making a guess of what? Straight out of being Q. Straight out of being Q. <laughs> 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 um, well, it's that groove around it. Yeah, that's what makes it interesting, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what it's made of. I'm making it in the thing. This is a I don't suppose any. Toilet handle, the old back <laughs> one. I don't know. Is that the metal on it? Is it steel or is it? No. What's that? A magnet. Oh, really? Yeah. Like a key to me. Yeah, just a little magnet on the back. Ah, oh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> right, so yes, yeah, so it's probably brass ish, <laughs> something like that then. Razor? No? No, it's too, it's too, heavy, it? too heavy for a razor, isn't it? I mean, it's almost like the, the old-fashioned razors. You know, you've got yeah. a blade, one single blade in the very yeah. top. Um, but I don't think it is. I don't know. Yeah, that's, yeah it's interesting. Anyone knows out there, please uh, have a stab or have a guess. Yeah, yeah interesting. Okay. On to the next one. All right, guys, well, uh, we're near the end of the day now. In fact, we are near the end of the day because I've, I've turned my machine off. Mark's going to have a... We just spotted this big tree, so he's having a little go around here. But look at the size of that trunk on that. Hey, it's huge, isn't it? It's been there for a while. So, um, yeah, I think Mark's going to have a little dig around. If he finds anything, I'm going to record it. But thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you later. <laughs>